Welcome to Motor Car Parts of America's Technical Installation Series. The following video covers repeat alternator failure due to oil contamination. This applies to a Mitsubishi Montero and Montero Sport V6 with a 3.0 and 3.5 liter V6 engine from 1997 to 2004. The purpose of this video is to address the proper removal and installation of an oil contaminated alternator. Over time, an oil-soaked unit will not charge properly and can become a fire hazard. If these vehicles suffer from charging system failure, the problem may be caused by an oil-soaked alternator. A leaking valve cover gasket, camshaft seal, a power steering pump, or power steering hose will contaminate the alternator with oil and cause it to fail. In an effort to address this problem, MPA engineers developed a fitted oil drip guard for the alternator. This guard will help prolong the life of the alternator. This is not a cure and you will need to fix the problem. Always wear protective safety clothing and goggles to avoid injury. Also, perform a voltage drop test to rule out other potential problems. Before we begin, make sure the battery is disconnected. Always disconnect the negative cable first. A memory saver can be used to keep the radio and other electrical component settings unchanged. Once the battery has been disconnected, we can begin. To gain access to the alternator, you will need to remove the air filter and air box. To remove the alternator, loosen the bolt in front of the serpentine belt pulley with a 14 mm wrench. Next, remove the bottom mounting bolt connected to the alternator. With a 14 mm socket and long extension adapter, loosen the fastener to relieve the belt tension. Next, remove the adjusting bottom bolt connected to the belt tensioner. Next, remove the serpentine belt off the alternator pulley. Next, remove the bad alternator. On the back of the alternator, disconnect the voltage regulator harness plug. To remove, press down on the tab and pull out. As you can see, we have oil and other contaminants. This is not good. Next, remove the nut that holds the B positive terminal in place. Replace the bad alternator with the new one. When installing the new alternator, you will need to install the top mounting bolt first. Next, we'll be reinstalling the voltage regulator plug on the back of the alternator and the B positive terminal. They both go in back of the alternator. Install the nut that holds the B positive terminal in place. Inspect the belt for wear and damage, and if the belt is oil contaminated, it will need to be replaced. With a 14 mm socket, retighten the alternator top bolt. Make sure the belt is aligned and fully seated on the pulley grooves, and tighten the belt tensioner according to the OE manufacturer's specifications. Tighten the nut to lock the pulley in place. The last step is to reinstall the battery. Attach the positive battery cable first and tighten the battery terminal. Repeat this procedure for the negative terminal. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you have questions, contact our Technical Support Center to talk to one of our ASE certified technicians. Our technicians are available seven days a week. In the United States, call 800-228-9672 and in Mexico, Call 1-800-767-0210. Furthermore, if you have issues that may lead to returning a part, please call our Call Before You Return hotline at 888-933-9065, and our technicians will help troubleshoot the issues you may be having. Powered by MPA.